from opening the floodgates for others to intercept Omega calls to even jump-starting careers in ways that have not been thought of and for those that have actually taken the time to sit down and watched exactly how intercepting calls can be done really takes for granted how much extensive research and the amount of technical knowledge it took to figure out exactly how to effectively appear in one call or the other but more on the website's system that's set in place that is often overlooked believing there is no way to do anything about it as most of these guys performing the middleman interception without truly understanding how it actually works for quite some lengthy amount of time it's always been that thing that you have to watch out for before getting caught as that was one of the reasons why going on Omega and setting up the virtual cams in order to perform the middleman method can be quite tedious and if you're not careful enough can result in a band and from there you'll have to figure out how to either unban yourself or wait a while but that's not something most of us would want to do and so we got to work in figuring out how to further get on Omega without triggering detection and I found out how and it turns out that there are some hidden detection systems that can be bypassed with some additional steps to take. Plus you can also do this to perform the infamous fake skipping method that uses a real loading screen for authenticity. So this is what you will need to do to get started. You will need OBS version 27 for the time being unless later versions of OBS comes with the option to add a secondary virtual cam. Don't forget to have basic knowledge on how OBS works in which it'll go a long way as well as the virtual cam plugin to be used in OBS 27 specifically. You will also need voice meter and the virtual aux cable driver for the audio aspect. Then you will also need to use two completely separate web browsers in order for both parties to hear each other as using the same browser and two Omega tabs audio wise will not work as no one can hear each other but you. Definitely get these browser extensions like uBlock Origin WebRTC Limiter and Requestly.io and make sure they are installed on both separate web browsers of choice. You'll need a VPN that uses residential IPs that are located outside of the 14 eyes that won't collect your private data and even spying on you. So do avoid using free VPNs as they won't work most of the time on Omega. And for the optional part, using other apps or programs, if you'd like to use an avatar, or if you prefer to show your face, you might as well have a webcam ready and a microphone to speak to. So in other words, the sky's the limit on how you want to appear or not. For the audio aspect, open up voice meter. For hardware input one, we select the given mic. For hardware input 2, select cable output. And for hardware output, for A2, select VB audio point. And for A1, select your audio output. So if you want A to hear yourself, this is how it will sound like. Otherwise, press B. For hardware input 2, we'll select B as well. And for virtual input, let's deselect B and leave A, and then we will make any other necessary adjustments. We'll open up a browser, we type in omega.com, we will go to video, check on both boxes, press confirm and continue, allow, and then stop. We need to go get rid of this watermark we see here. So we have to go to 
our little U-Block Origin icon. We pick the Element Picker icon right here. We select this watermark. This window will pop up. We just press Create. And now there is no watermark and you just repeat the process on the other browser. For Requestly, we simply go to our icon over here. It would look something like this. We open the app. It'll give us some instructions. We'll just click continue. It doesn't matter what you click. We just need to get through. We just go to redirect requests right here. We can just exit out of everything. So what we're going to do is copy a URL or you can just type it in. Then we add another one by this button down here which says add new condition. So and then we do the same thing but instead of one we just change the one to two and we gotta do this two more times until we reach to four. Add this. We need to enter a name. In my case we just call it Omega something or whatever you like to call it. Let's not forget to give these a name as well on all four requests. And then we create rule. And now Omega cannot see what you show on the screen and won't be able to record or take screenshots. Your icon would look green once it's successfully implemented where you can click and turn on and turn off but I recommend leaving it on if you do not want to get caught by Omega. Last for WebRTC limiter we just click on this icon right here press options and this window will pop up we simply just leave it to the middle right here where it says use my default public and private IP addresses and that's all you really need to do. We'll exit out of our browser and now let's open up the registry. So we'll just go to their start menu, type in reg, edit, click and this will pop up. Everything you see here, press enter, we should be able to look for our camera. I've already named it beforehand but it should say friendly name you just right click modify it would say something like OBS camera if you haven't already edited it so you can just change it to whatever and go from there just press OK now you can always go to the second part down here there should be the other four virtual cams you can click on the second third or fourth and modify whatever else you need to modify and do the same or just right click and do this. Let's open OBS. We just click skip version. We can cancel all this. Let's just open up a browser. Now let's go to video. We check both of these uh, boxes. Confirm and continue. Before we allow this, we just go to site permissions. We can go to the camera. Make sure you select either one of these OBS virtual cams and then go back and make sure for microphone you have voice meter connected or at least the one you choose. Let's go to sources, click on this plus sign, window capture, we'll just call it Omega or however you like to call it. Click OK, you make sure it is selecting your browser, uncheck all that and press OK. We can go and make and allow. But before we can start, we need to pause everything. Now we go back to OBS. We go and right click on scene, then filter. And on this plus, we'll add virtual cam. And you just select this and OK. Now in our case, we are going to just select the first one and we can start it. You may have to do this every single time you want to open Omega. Now let's close this. We got our first window. We need to open a second scene. So we go back here to this plus, name it whatever you like, press OK. So we're going to open a separate browser like Chromium as a demonstration. We'll go back to Omega. We go to video, check on both like the first, confirm and continue. We'll just allow, pause all this, and also click on stop auto rolling. We go to this icon again, manage, click on camera, and make sure it is to the secondary.
virtual cam you're selecting, definitely make sure microphone that voice meter is also connected or selected even. We go back to OBS. For the second scene, press the plus button. Then window capture. Name this something like Omega 2. Click OK. Basically do the same thing and make sure it is selected to whichever one. So in our case, we'll select the first scene. Uncheck this part. Go back to the first scene. Go back to properties. We will select the second browser or the Chromium one as our demonstration. Now for this part, we're just going to right click, filter, going to add the second virtual cam and we'll just name it whatever. You won't be able to select the first one if you have it already activated, so you're going to go to the secondary one. You press start. What we're going to do is we're going to make some further adjustments. We'll go to the first scene, right click on the source, then filter, go to the plus, crop pad, press OK, and make any further adjustments. Then we can close this. We simply right click on the source click on fit to screen or control F and now it would look something like this. Now you're gonna want to do the same thing with the other side. I find it a lot easier to go back to source and filter. Right here we right click copy or control C and we can just exit out of this. Now we'll go to the second scene right click on the second source to filter. Anywhere in this box we right click and paste and from there, we can just make any further adjustments. Do the exact same thing by right-clicking on the second source, to and then go to Transform, and Fit to Screen or Control F, and now we have both scenes. However, we come across a new issue. One side has a black screen, and when you, if you were to click on the second scene, it also shows another black screen. In order to solve this, we need to make a third scene. Click here, name it whatever you like, Press OK, go to this plus on sources, click on scene. Go to add existing scene, select the first one, press OK, go back to this button again, then scene, and then select second one, and press OK. You can just make any further adjustments. We can just right click here, and then go to window, and whenever you select the first or second scene, none of them will black out. And once you have everything activated, now we can just check to see if they both crisscross. So it would look something like this. Both parties should be able to see the loading screen as well as each other. We're going to add an avatar. In my case, I'm just going to go click on Game Capture. And I can just name it whatever you like. Click OK. You're going to want to always uncheck Capture Cursor. And in my case, I'm going to allow transparency because the program I'm using will need it. And I press OK. I just want to click on capture specific window. I would go and select my program. It would look something like this. Now you're going to want to copy this uh, source. We'll just right click here, copy or control C, go to the second scene, paste it. And now you have it on both sides, as you can see here. Now the last thing we want to do is be able to make it easier to hide the character or whatever you else you want pop up on your screen. So for that, we're going to go to Settings. We go to Hotkeys. Now we look for the source that we want to hide. I recommend having them on both Show and Hide the same keys. And then for the second scene, select a different key combinations. We can just press apply and then OK. And now you should be able to hide your avatar just like that with just a simple key hotkey shortcut. For the amount of steps needed in order to get on Omega and not trigger the auto moderation detection system, your chances of getting banned will come at the form of someone manually reporting you. And there's a good chance that the website may get patched, rendering some of these methods unusable. So be careful on what you share, say, or show, cause you will never know who would be behind that screen before it is too late, so use at your own risk.
and special thanks to those who pledged, donated, and contributed to making this tutorial possible. Till then, this is LR7 showing how to fake skip middleman and avoid getting detected and logging out. Oh, man. Oh. Well, this is awkward.